Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Non-Transformers Tuesday. This is going to be a semi-non-Transformers Thursday. As you can see here, we do have an Optimus Prime. However, it is not a transforming figure, so... I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like what you see, or even if you don't, please leave a comment. Just be constructive in your criticism. Like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews. And don't forget to ding that bell so that you will be notified when my content drops at some point in the future, which is on Tuesdays and Fridays, 4 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. Tuesdays is always a non-Transformers video. And Fridays is always a Transformer. And with all that said, let's get into it. And of course now, as we always do, let's take a look at the packaging. I was going to say quick, but sometimes it's not a very quick look at the packaging. But we'll take a look at the packaging. Uh, Transformers, it's Jada Toys. In case uh, anybody wasn't aware of them, they, they do a lot of die-cast stuff. Autobot Optimus Prime, C-Robot on chassis. Transformers, more than meets the eye. And a nice artwork of G1 Optimus Prime there. Uh, Optimus Prime Autobot, the G1 artwork, and Transformers, more than meets the eye. Bit of a window here so you can see the front of the figure. Autobot Optimus Prime, Transformers, more than meets the eye. Nice big window here on the front. I didn't mention that when we were looking at the front. On the bottom, barcode authentic Hasbro because they licensed them, licensed by Hasbro. Uh, they want to help you. Blah blah blah. There's screws in it that you have to remove. Jada Toys Incorporated.com. And on the back, there you can see the robot mode on the chassis. It's not in color. But the product shots, we'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, nice G1 artwork, Autobot Optimus Prime. Made in China, warning, don't stick things in your pie hole. Not for three, un under three. And those pesky symbols. And of course, it's Hollywood Ride series. Now, next we'll take a look at kit and car, and I will only look at one of the packaging because they are pretty much exactly the same except for the names. And probably the product shots. So, let's take a look at kit. Uh, nice insert with some explosions in the background. Die cast kit. Night Industries 2000 Night Rider. And the little wow wow sensor beam. Jada Toys 8 Plus. Uh, nice little window here so you can see the front of the vehicle. Knight Rider. Knight Rider. Small print and stuff. Top of the box, a nice window so you can see the top of the car. Knight Rider. On the box. On the box. Of course it's on the box. On the back of the box. Uh, nice product shot. Knight Rider. Hollywood Rides. Kit. Don't stick things in your pie hole. Foreign languages. Made in China. There's those symbols again. Alright. There's that. And then car is pretty much the same. Except for the Product shot, don't stick things in your pile. And the 1966 Barris Batmobile, and as you can see, it comes with a die cast figure. 
Diecast 8 Plus DC Classic TV Series Batmobile and Batman. Batman Classic TV Series, Jada Toys. Nice window so you can see everything in there. And you see the insert. Looks like the old uh, animated beginning of the 66 series. Batman Classic TV Series. Nice window so you can see the top and details. Batman Classic TV Series. Batman Classic TV Series and nice little window there. On the bottom, DC, Warner Brothers, Jada Toys, small print, yada, 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 barcode. There's a screw that holds it in, Hollywood Rides. On the back, product shots of the other vehicles in this series. Made in Vietnam. Don't put things in your pie hole. And last but not least, the 89 Batmobile. Jada Toys, the bat symbol from the movie, Batmobile and Batman. 8 plus diecast DC. Bah! Da 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 da. DC Warner Brothers, Jada Toys, barcode, there's a screw in it, Hollywood Rides. Batmobile and Batman from Batman the Animated Series, Classic TV Series, 89, and Superman vs. Batman or Justice League. That might be the Justice League one. Or they're the same. I don't know. Made in Vietnam, symbols, small print, fine print, foreign print, and alrighty. That does it for the packaging. And now let's take a look at the main events. The toys themselves. Let's start off with the Optimus Prime cab. Nice chromey highlights. The silver stripe that runs all the way around. Nice chromed accessories. Autobot logo on both sides. Autobot logo. Nice Optimus Prime red and blue. Silver for chrome for the rims. And rubber tires. He does have a hitch for a trailer and we'll look at that in a bit. On the bottom side, Autobot symbol painted and then sculpted in Optimus Prime. <coughs> Excuse me. And so there's a look at Optimus. Now let's take a look. Not, not that one. This one. Let's take a look at Kit, the Night Industries 2000. I got a light falling over here. Getting back up there. Nice shiny black, like Kit should be. Silver on the outside of the rims, and then the black cover. Just engine part stuff on the bottom. Rubber tires. Nice big windows, just like on the show, the T-top. But it doesn't open for ejection mode. And oddly enough, no paint on, on the sensor bar. Or if it is, it's really hard to see. No Super Pursuit mode on this one. This one's like the earlier models. A little spoiler fin. Knight Rider on the license plate. The door does open on both sides. 
so that you can see the nice sculpted details Dang light. on the inside the steering wheel and you can see the console in there no paint apps or stickers decals in there and of course the seats are black but that's fine because who's really looking on the inside anyway and now let's take a look at car the prototype the night automated roving robot and this is of course it's got a little bit of gunk on it this is of course the exact same mold as it should be and this is from cars second and final appearance on the show because you can see the silver stripe that goes all the way around the bottom And again, exactly the same as kit. The doors do open. Same nice sculpted detail on the interior. Even sculpted interior door stuff. And they all roll pretty good too. I will destroy you, kit. And of course, for those of you who don't realize it, car in the original Knight Rider show, was voiced by Peter Cullen, who voiced Optimus Prime in the original G1 cartoon and in the movies, the Bay movies and the Bumblebee movie. So let's now take a look at the 1966 Barris Batmobile. A nice black color like it should be with the red bat symbol and the red striping. Uh, there's the little sensor thing that sticks up. The siren and the flashing light. There is some interior detail. The steering wheel. And some sculpted detail on the dash. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but there is a red painted fire extinguisher here on the back. No bat phone. I don't see any bat phone in there. And of course these, I guess, and there's some kind of exhaust pipes, but they're made out of really soft rubbery plastic. Uh, a little bit of floppy paint right there but not big not a big deal really and then of course the jet engine exhaust that is pretty cool and let's take a quick look at Mr. Adam West as Batman. This is a pretty good representation of Adam West as Batman. Nice paint details for such a small, small figure. Nice sculpted detail also this small of a die cast figure and lastly let's take a look at the 1989 Batmobile a nice matte black with silver details here and here The jet intakes, some molded detail that has been painted silver, various stuff, 
And of course the two hatches here on the top that machine guns pop out of. Very long, nice lines on this design. I've always loved this 89 Batmobile. The rubber tires. Again, the bottom, not a whole lot of detail there. But who's going to be looking at the bottom? Now, from the front, you see the main jet intake there. And the headlights, which have some paint on them. This side is pretty much like the other side. Uh, there is a little bit of sculpted detail on the inside. You can't see it real well, though. And, of course, the jet exhaust and the bat wings and various other assorted stuff. Very good. And lastly, we will take a look at the Michael Keaton Batman micro figure thingy. Again, nice paint applications and sculpted detail for such a small figure. That bat symbol looks awesome. Oops, I killed Batman. What are you? I'm Batman. Ugh. Alrighty. Next, we will take a look at some comparisons for scale. And now we'll take a look at some comparisons on scale and by listings of these, they, they are supposed to be a 1 to 32 scale. However, the Batmobiles look a little small for that. And, I mean, just comparing them to each other. I mean, the uh, Night Industries cars look a bit big to be in scale with Optimus Prime here. And the Batmobiles look a little small to be in scale with the Night Industries cars. And uh, they may be in scale with Optimus Prime, though. And, of course, I don't think these figures are in scale at all. They just seem to be a little big. But since these are supposedly 132 scale... And the closest scale I could find on Transformers, the, this War for Cybertron trilogy Transformers, was uh, 132. Is what uh, what my research has led me to. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at some size comparisons with Transformers in vehicle mode. And here we have. Optimus Prime, Dead Optimus Prime, or Alternate Universe Optimus Prime. And as you can see, they are pretty close in scale. This one sits up a little higher, and this one sits a little wider, it looks like. Not by much, though. So there's that, and then I did get... My G1 reissue, the, I think it was 20th or maybe the 25th anniversary reissue. And as you can see, those guys scale up almost exact. Almost. Not quite. But almost. Like in horseshoes. Even the length is about the same. And so, let's get him out of the way. And we're going to take the Earthrise Optimus Prime trailer from Dead Optimus Prime and see if it will work 
with this Jada Toys Optimus Prime. And the peg is just a little too big to fit, but it does kind of sit there, just not real snug. Oops, as you can see there. Lean back this way a little bit. So, he will pull it. He can turn with it. He will back up and jackknife with it. So, it does sort of work as long as you don't mind it being jacked up a little bit. I probably could uh, drill this hole out a little bit to make the peg fit, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. And just for some other comparison, here is Kingdom Huffer. And as you can see, he's a good bit smaller, which he should be. But they still look like they scale pretty well. And here is Generations Selects um, Exhaust. Had a little brain fart there. So there's how he scales up with old Optimus Prime. Uh, let's see how he scales up with the Night Industries 2000. Not too bad. Or I said 2000 Night Industries Automated Robing Robot Car. So, he sits up a little higher, which I guess he should. Since I... This type of race car is slung real low to the ground. So. And let's see how the Barris Batmobile scales up. And that could be right. It looks a little small to me. But that could just be me. I don't know, maybe they do scale it pretty well. The wheels look to be the same size on these. Maybe it's just the Night Industries cars are a little big. And last but not least, 1989's Batman Batmobile. So maybe those scale okay. Again, the tires are about the same size, so that's something. And while we're talking about comparison type stuff, I want to take a look at one last thing for this segment. Here we have a Transformers War for Cybertron blast effect and let's see if it will fit in the exhaust nozzle of the 66 Batmobile and it will not does not fit so let's see if it will fit in the 89 Batmobile's exhaust port and it will go in there however it's too big and it won't stay So, that was a bust. And that does it for comparisons. And now for our final thoughts on the 1 to 32 scale. Jada Toys. Uh, Hollywood Rides line. Again, uh, I'm, I, I think this is in scale, this is in scale, and this is in scale. And the two Night Industries cars seem to be just a tad bit big compared to the rest of them. But other than that, 
they are nice looking representations of the vehicles from the source material. If you like die cast stuff, you'll probably like these. The price on them isn't too bad. I think it was $10 for the two Batmobiles that came with the nano figures and like six dollars and something seven dollars for the other three so not a bad price of course on the secondary market like everything else they run a little bit higher and i may still pick up the animated batman the animated series batmobile if i run across it I, I like these. The uh, you know the Batmobiles may go in my Transformers display since they scale so well, but probably not because nothing else I have. You know they're all in robot mode for the most part. So, but yeah, I was just really curious to see how these one to thirty-two scale vehicles compared with the alt modes of the War for Cybertron. Transformers. And now you know, and of course, we know that knowing is half the battle. Do, 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 do. Oh, thank you for watching this video and any other of my videos you might have watched. I do appreciate it. Every view counts. Please leave a comment below. Whether you like the video or not, just remember to be nice and constructive in any criticism that you may have. Don't just go on there and say, oh, you suck, because that is really not helpful to improving things on the channel. Like, share, subscribe if you want to see more reviews. And don't forget to ding that bell people ding the bell that way you will be notified of any content that i drop at a future time and with all that said i'll see you next time